New plans have been released for the future of a Central Coast building listed by the National Register of Historic Places. KSBY News reporter Dusty Baker explains what is next for the oldest civic building in Atascadero. While driving around in downtown Atascadero on Almeida Avenue, you may notice this building behind me here, which on the outside looks abandoned. But on the inside, there is a much greater story to be told dating back to 1915 here at the Atascadero Printery. And the Atascadero Printery Foundation is looking to breathe new life into these old brick walls. So this room will be the Performing Arts Center. What you're seeing here is this area right here, which will be the seating area. A 19,000 square foot building is being brought back to life in Atascadero. The building was falling apart, so we stopped that damage. We've got some temporary shoring in and now we've completed our plan for retrofit. It's into the city for permits and we're ready to start. We've actually done all the engineering to reinforce the building. We plaster the walls to strengthen them in an earthquake. The 107 year old building was once a printery. Well, they printed a women's journal. It actually had the largest circulation of any magazine in the United States. The Atascadero Printery Foundation comprised of 12 board members purchased the building in May of 2017 with a much bigger plan for its future. It's a community center focusing on the arts and education. We're hoping to have arts classes, not just kids, but for all ages. We're looking at talking with the senior center, maybe having senior lunches here, a public facility anyone can rent and use, um, and then of course the theater with a lot of different activities. The idea is to do structural repair so that's no longer a hazardous building, and then our next phase would be to start building the infrastructure for the Foreign Arts Center. With local Atascadero residents playing a key role in bringing the the building back to life. We just did a fundraising campaign um, starting in November that went through the end of the year and we did get support from about 250 different people that participated in that. It's going to be a lot of local work. We would definitely have a preference for local contractors and local tradesmen. In order to turn a building used as a printery until 1924 into a community staple in the heart of Atascadero. I'm just really excited for our community, our whole region, because this is a project that needs to happen. Structural repair on the Atascadero printery is expected to take place here in the coming weeks. However, the full project will take much longer than that. In fact, the Atascadero printery Foundation is seeking $1.5 million to complete the operation. As of right now, they've received $250,000. Reporting into Tascadero, Dusty Baker, KSBY News. A key reason for the Printery Foundation's goal of $1.5 million is to remove the red tag from the building. That would allow public access to the building.